All right, good afternoon, everybody. It is Sunday, which means it's time for live Q&A. And uh, once again, I didn't really announce this. Kind of kind of going a little stealth today, That's which is cool. Um, and, and I'll be honest, I did that for a reason. I'm actually, I'm actually a little nervous about today's topic because I don't... It, it's one of those things that, I, that, that you have to be really careful about. Like, I love talking about this stuff. Um, I love talking about things like how to you know how to get on a path how to stay on a path how to how to set yourself up for success um and it, it, it's a really broad conversation especially nowadays because you know nowadays there's i've said this a million times i mean you know you guys are probably tired of hearing me probably tired of hearing me use this example the example of the uh, the video game streamers right the twitch streamers out there you know our parents our parents saying to us years and years ago i mean i remember like I, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was a meme before it, memes were popular before there was an internet meme, right? The whole like, ah, you can't make money. You're never going to make, make money playing those things. And now there are literally people making more money than all of us playing those things. But, and, and like I said, you know, that, which, which is cool. Um, I, it, you know, that's not the specific that I want to talk about, but the specific that I think that leads to is like I said, we're living in this amazing time where you can you can eke out a living doing crazy things like that and when i say eke out i don't mean like making ends meet i mean making more than you could you know being you know being 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 the corporate nine to five or even 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 if you have a great job i mean i was uh you know i was, I was at the vigor the vigor fitness summit last or last september and you know kind of the topic of <clears throat> what some of these guys were making who are coaches you know who have their own online products and, and teach workshops and and you know there's guys out there that are pulling you know very high six you know seven figures incomes and literally by doing the thing that they're good at that they love doing and that comes from taking advantage of you know like i said of this time that we're living in where you can do that where overhead is very minimal where you know I think I ranted about this this week. You know, talk. You know, we talk about using things like social media for for marketing. That stuff's all. It, it can cost as much as you want it to, I guess. And it's the same with, and not just marketing, but even going back to your education, right? Your education can cost as much as you want it to, or much, or as little as you want it to. I mean, how many people have learned how to do something from a YouTube tutorial? You know tons of them i mean i've done it i still do it i mean you know for example when i was trying to get into twitch you know when i decided a couple weeks ago that i wanted to start that i wanted to start twitch streaming speaking of making money on video games i mean the first thing i did was go to youtube and look up obs tutorials i mean way way back in the day when before i had gotten into continuing education on coaching same thing i was you know i was like oh, how do i do this movement i mean i the first time you know and 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 Full disclosure, I tell people not to do this, so so I apologize. But you know, when when I first was learning how to kettlebell swing, you know, I bought I bought one of Pablo's books and looked uh, looked on YouTube for tutorials. And then thankfully, eventually, you know, I met people who actually taught me how to do you know, how to how to kind of tweak. But and and like I said, and you should do that. But no, by the way, like seriously, seriously please, please please don't. But especially like as movements get more and more complicated, like, like please don't learn how to do a steel mace three sixty from YouTube. I, you know, that's not. I'm, I'm not trying to be an elitist. I'm I'm, I'm saying like that's the kind of thing that you know, you're going to hurt yourself doing so. And I'm, I'm, I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent here, but, <clears throat> um, but, but the things that you can do, you know, the, the things that, that aren't going to put you at immense personal risk by, by doing, by, you know, by, by having a poor explanation, like, like, please do, you know I mean? I mean, I used to tell, and I still do, I mean, I'm, you know, game developers conferences in a week and I'm, I'm sure I'll run into somebody who's going to ask me, Hey, how do I do this thing? How do I get into the industry? I mean, cause that's part of why you go. And my answer my answer has been for the last nine years. God, I don't even remember when I started going to GDC anymore. The nine, ten, maybe more years. But my answer always has been like, make cool stuff. You know, I mean, go go on YouTube, learn how to, you know, learn. I'm obviously, I'm not going to advocate for illegally obtaining software, but you know, get trial versions. You know, and and crank on and on on that trial version on YouTube tutorials for as long as you can, and you know, for as long as like that trial lasts and learn and make and do, you know, I think I've, I think I've said that on one of my rants too. So, so that, that's kind of the foundation, right? This idea that, um, this, this idea that education and marketing and then eventually into business and marketing, that stuff, very low overhead, as much over, as much as low overhead as you want it to have. And while that's all well and good, I think there's a step, there's a little bit of, um, 
that's not not social engineering. What's what's the best way to put this? There's a little bit of um, I, I guess I guess self knowledge. We'll say yeah. Let, let's call it self knowledge. That's a, that's because that's that's really what it is. A uh, bit of self knowledge, a bit of honesty, some conversations you kind of have to have with yourself, and. This first video kind of in this series, this first Q&A in this series is going to be, you know, it's, I'll, I'll admit it. It's going to be a little fluffy. It's going to be a little kind of, I, I'm, I'm going to try and make it actionable, but it's, but, but I, I understand it's going to seem a little like, like woo woo and, but, but, uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm always open for questions. If anybody, you know, if you end up watching this later and you, and you're like, Hey, dive into that thing for me a little bit more. I mean, I can definitely do that. Um, so <clears throat> I guess where where I want to start with this then is that I've I've read this notion from a bunch of different. Oh, okay, hold on, let, let, let's 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 let say that. Let's let's start even further. Let's start even simpler. So you you so you so so you kind of said to yourself. Well, first of all, you have to choose, you have to make that decision. I guess right. You have to decide that. All right. Well, I. I, I either, either, and it can be, I, I'm not going to tell you what the decision should be. I'm not going to tell you that, oh, it should just be that, oh, I want more out of life. I mean, it could just be like, it could just be, fuck, I want to make, pardon the French, I just want to make money playing video games, you know, or I just want to, I, I just want to make a lot of money doing things I love, or I just want to somehow, you know, do do what I love, and, and, and it's the same as, and, and, and let's not, let's, let's not take money out of the equation, okay? I, I'm sorry, I'm not one of these people who's going to, who's going to tell you, well, yeah, just, just, just do what you're passionate about, and money will follow, because that's, it, that's, I'll tell you what, you guys. Um, you may actually end up spending a lot of money up front first, and then eventually it'll follow. But, um, but like I said, you have to have a plan. But and and like I said, that plan starts with kind of making that decision, making that decision to say, all right, well, you know, say you're on it, you you're, say you know, you, you say you don't have a job, and you're like, crap, I'm not finding a job, and I want to do this thing, or and maybe I can make money, but I, I want to survive somehow. I don't want to go into the job market. Or maybe you have a job. Um, you know, whatever it is, just first be honest with yourself and say, this is what I want to do. I want to do this thing. And that's really where it starts. And that, that's, the, that's the, that's the other foundation of at least this whole first part is, is, is be, like I said, self-knowledge, be honest with yourself, be honest that like, yeah, I don't want to be a nine to fiver. I want to, maybe I want to work my own hours. Maybe I want to, maybe I want to live that, that life that I see on, on somebody else living on, on Instagram, whether, whether, and whether or not it's contrived, that's not, that's not the point. You know, we're not going to talk, you know, the whole like, oh yeah, well that guy out there who's that guy or girl out there who's posting all the shots on social media, like that's all fake. That doesn't matter. The reality is like there, you know, maybe you see, and you, you could live that way. You know, the reality is maybe you see that to yourself. Yeah. Okay. I don't care if this is fake. That's the life I want, or I want something like that. Fine. You know, be honest with yourself, make that decision. Say, say to yourself, like, this is what I want to do. Now I know that's hard. I, I, I do you guys. Um, I, I've been there. I mean, for, for a long time, I mean, for a long time, you know, I, I mean, I've been, I've been writing programs for people and training myself. And I mean, I started training myself seriously back in 2002 when I first started doing Capoeira and I realized, Hey, this is really cool. And I, and to get better at this, I'm going to need to start working out and training kind of at a suggestion from my master and, you know, kind of being a nerd, I sort of dove in and just kind of went really really deep into it and realize that hey i like i like not just training but i like learning about this stuff like this is something that just grabs me and then when i actually got a chance later on to start writing programs for people i was oh this is really fun i, I love doing this but you know up here it was still like yeah but software and tech you're doing that right now and it's a, and, and and it's a it's a it's a respectable job and it makes a lot of money and, and you know you're gonna, you're gonna be set if you keep doing this you know like this and, and I didn't really have any preconceived. I mean, people nowadays are like, yeah, like being a personal trainer, being a coach, you know, it's hard. It's a lot. Of, and, and it is. It's a lot of hours. But that I wasn't even thinking that. In fact, I wasn't even thinking about that other any other possibility than doing what I was currently doing because, like I said, it was a thing you were supposed to do. It was the right thing, you know. And, I mean, to talk about me personally, I mean, I, I think I had some guilt about that just because there were many of the right things that I didn't do, you know, like I flunked out of college twice. And <clears throat> so that, you know, so, so, so basically what I'm saying is, is, is I know that it's, it's hard to make that decision. Um, but I guess to go into like TMI Seth territory, not too far, but don't make that decision while you can, like, I mean, at some point, it, I guess 
if you end up making the decision at all, that's cool. But don't don't get to the point where things get so bad that it feels like you're running from things. Because, and I'll be honest, I I, I love all the stuff that I've done. Like I, I love all the continuing education I've done in the last three years. I I I. I I would not trade some of the people that I've met and some of the workshops I've been to and some of the cities I've gotten to travel to like for anything. But what I will say is that because my decision to my decision to get into to finally get into like, you know, the thing that I love doing, you know, personal training, coaching fitness was was very motivated by a, a, a let's, let, let's say midlife crisis, for lack of a better term. Um I think I took a very shotgun approach and probably spent a little more time and money than maybe I needed to. I mean, you know, I'll be honest, um, the last, probably the last year of my education has been the most valuable just because it's been very focused and, and that's doing no small part again to my amazing mentor, Sarah Jameson. What's up, Sarah? Um, and so, so, and, and I feel like if I had, if I had just taken some time and said, okay, I'm in a good spot right now, but I know I want to do this other thing. Let's let's think it through, okay? And and and, and I know that kind of flies a little bit again, a little bit in, in the face, you know, because you hear from people all the time, like like no, just just take the risk, just make the big, you know, you know, take the jump, just 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 blow everything out and go for it. Like, if that works for you, that's cool. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you not to do that, or at least think very carefully about it, okay? I'm gonna tell you to have some strategy. I'm gonna tell you to always try and take kind of a bigger picture view of everything always try to be aware of how things really are for you and and and, and you know and i understand like life is crazy maybe things are bad for you and maybe that is what motivates the change you know because because the flip side is yeah people say that negativity and pain and you know basically just badness are also great you know great great change motivators and, and it's true um I'm gonna. I guess what I'm gonna say is try and find some balance. You know, try and try and try and again self knowledge. Try and be aware. Um, so, okay. So once you've kind of made that decision, so you sort of decided that hey, I want to do this thing. I want to. I, I know I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to play video games for money. Whatever. <clears throat> I want. I want to be a personal trainer. I want to be. I want to be a, an awesome movement corrective coach. There. Um, Take some time and think about that. Take some time, and and I'm not saying, and, and here's 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 what I think people think I'm saying. What I think people think I'm saying is, based on what I just said, I think, I think people are thinking that what I'm saying is, convince yourself not to do it. Which I guess I, which I'm not saying. What I'm saying is, is actually the opposite. What I'm saying is, convince yourself to do it. Like be, and I guess what I mean by that is, be okay with the idea that you want to do this, especially if it's, um, I, I think I, I said this in the description, especially, you know, listening to your nerves on um, guys like, uh, I know, I know Jordan Peterson says this a lot and I've, I've heard this a few other things, but uh, I think the analogy is the, um, the, the, the magpie or the crow or the rat and shiny objects, right? Like they see a shiny object and they grab it. Um, you've probably felt this, uh, you know, you hear, you hear from kids all the time. It's funny. I, I was out at dinner last night with, uh, with my good friend, Brad Clark, who who's one of the founders of Rain Dojo, who, um, I should put this up. Actually, we announced our, our collaboration between Coach Seth Gibson and, and Rigging Dojo. We're doing a mobility for uh, for tech workers program that will be hosted on their site. And we'll talk a little bit more about that probably next or the week after GC. But anyway, but we were talking and his kids have both um, started, been doing martial arts. You know, one of his, his son does Capoeira. He's been doing it for two years, which I think is awesome. And his daughter is a is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu player. And she's been doing, again, she's been doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I think, for just about as long. Um, and not just them, but I've heard this from so many other people's kids. Um, you know, you ask them like, well, that thing you're doing, you know, you do and you do this sport, you do this. Why do you do that? And and a lot of times nowadays, the answer is, well, you know, we showed them a YouTube video and they were just like, oh, I have to do that. I have to. And then, of course, they go do it and they love it and they're really good at it. And and the. Uh, the, the there's 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 kind of a theory now, like I said, Peterson talks about it, a bunch of other people talk about it, where. That's some part of you. I mean, some people say, "Oh, it's your nervous system. It's your, it's your, it, you know, it's it's some genetic thing." I mean, I, I don't know. I haven't really dived into the research or dove into. I don't know why I say dived all the time. Dove into the research behind it, 
And um, but but that that's something something tangible saying that hey this you're somehow suited to this thing, you know. Um, you know, I think I'm I'm one of those people who believes that, and the more research I do, you know, if you if you listen to Galpin or Rhonda Patrick, you know, you it, it's hard to deny that there is a real, actual, you know, existing connection between you know neurology and physiology, right? Like, but you know, when we say ah oh, mind body connection, but I, but like I said, we're starting to show more and more that that's a real thing. So when people say things like that, I I tend to believe that, you know, so I tend to believe that. When you see something like that, you're just like, "Oh my God, that's amazing! I, I have to know more about this." There, I, I, that's there, there's something going on, and you know, you know, some 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 part of you, I don't know what it is, is saying, "Hey, like, I need to do that now." If that's if that's how you got to where to what led you to make your decision, okay, perfect. You've done a lot of the hard work. Um, if you haven't, but you decided, "Oh, I want to do this thing," I would say, I would say, dive into it a bit, but not. But at a at kind of a you know do do some I guess what I call visual research right you know go go on YouTube read books find it see if you find examples of that thing that really grab you that's making you go, oh my god yes um you know for me like I said it's it, it it was you know I mean jujitsu was like that the first time I saw it and then did it um even though I've taken a break from this knife making like I mean every time I watch people like make knives like you know forge knives or whether it's stock or move I'm just like oh my god I have to do that and then some of you guys know I started doing that a little while ago and then. I want to move back to Seattle. I haven't, I haven't actually been able to reestablish, but that's coming. So anyway, point being, <clears throat> um, point being, like, yeah, find, make, make sure, do, do, do some research and make sure that like that's really the thing. You know, that, like I, I, again, like, like that you're not running away from, you're running towards something. I guess is a good way to put it. And that's the first thing. I think once you're, you know, that that's the first part of this whole being honest thing with yourself. Um, so, so once, once, once you're okay with that, you, you may, um, uh, here, here's where it starts to get a little weird and I don't want to sound like I'm preaching to people. Um, but this is partially from my own experience and partially from other people's experience, but you, you may hear that again, because, because I had this and I, and I mentioned this, but you may hear that little voice saying, well, you know, that's kind of frivolous or that's not a great pursuit or maybe that's not what that's that's not that's not what grown-ups do right I, you know and, and I'm not gonna and I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna rant about adulting versus not adulting versus being grown up back you know I, I think that that's a weird conversation but what, what I'm gonna say is have that conversation with yourself too and maybe have it with somebody else I mean have it with yourself first you know ask yourself you know you know do again self knowledge do a little bit bit of digging ask yourself why why, why do you think that? I mean, you know, like I said, I mean, like I said, you know, when, when I decided right that I wanted to go into personal training and run my own business, I mean, there were a lot of things that, you know, inside that I that just conditioning, you know, that they were saying, no, no, you can't do this because you have to do this other thing. You have to do this thing you're doing right now because, like I said, because oh, you have resources now and you have you have experience and you have you know you can take care of yourself and you can. You know, you can do all these. You, you can you can do all these things you're supposed to do. In fact, like when when I started flying, you know, flying away for continuing ed, there were definitely times where I was just like, Sh should I be doing this? I mean, I just spent, I just spent, you know, two three thousand dollars on a weekend trip to go to a a, a seminar. Should is is that right? And over time, that diminished, but. It was really weird because it was it, it was kind of an irrational ask. It, it wasn't you know I mean on the one hand you could say oh well maybe that was just because you didn't I didn't know if there was going to be a return on the investment but as much as I hate to say it that wasn't even the case it was even it was it was literally just like oh no this isn't something that that you know grown ups do which is funny because like you know then I fly away to these like these things and and meet tons and tons of people who are they doing who, who are doing it as well so it's just like wait are they not are those people not grown like like why why is it wrong for me but not for them, you know. So that's some just and, and and point point there's like that's just something you're you you may have to work through, you know. Um I'm sorry guys, like I like said up front, this is gonna be kind of a kind of a woo out there video. There's a like like you know we're, we're talking about things that might go on in your head a little bit. Um but I truly believe that this is why a lot of people don't don't get out there and do the thing that they want to do. You know, there's all this you know, all this like, oh, well, I have to, you know, I have a, I have a thing, I have a, I have a good thing now. And usually that, and the sad part is usually that good thing. And, and I don't mean to, 
I'm, again, this is why I hate talking about this because I always say something that makes me sound like a dick or makes me sound like I'm not being cognizant or appreciative of other people's situations, and I completely am. But you know, it's when people say to me like, "Well, I, I do want to do this other thing, but I really need my benefits right now," which is valid. Maybe you do. Maybe you have a family. Maybe you have kids. You know, and you need healthcare. Okay, that's that's cool. I understand that. We're actually, and that's something I'm going to talk about later. It's like how to you know how to think about scheduling that. You know, making that transition. Because um, again, like I said, I'm, I'm not the person who's going to tell you, oh, well, just, well, it doesn't matter. Just quit your job and dive right in. You'll be fine. But, <clears throat> I, you know, I bring that up because, like I said, I, I think it's all these things that we're, that, again, we feel like we're supposed to do that keep us where we are and, may, that, and we may not be 100% happy about that, right? So, so have that conversation with yourself, you know. Try, 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 and work, and, and don't, and you guys, don't, don't beat yourself up. That's the thing that's going to be really easy to do. It's going to be really easy to say it to, to accuse yourself of just being escapist or being frivolous or, or. God, this is a weird thing to say, and I, I can't believe we've gotten to the point where we say this, but where, where you're going to say like, oh, well, you, you know, you know, that that's not serious work, like you know, like I mean, sure, that'd be fun, but like, what, what's wrong with that? I mean, isn't that the dream, like being able to like have fun doing what you do day in and day out and like still and, and make a living off of it. I, I think that's awesome. I mean, that's, that's part of the reason that, you know, I'm, I'm starting to do all this stuff I do. And, and it's really weird for me because like, yeah, I already have, fun. Like, I love my day job. I've said that a million times and I'm not saying that's a brag, but, um, um, but generally anyway, that's cause that's a whole other, I, I know I'm, I'm telling you guys about all the other topics we're going to talk about, like, uh, like on this stream, not, not this one particularly, but this, this whole, this thread that I've started. But, um, yeah. So, all right. So, so, so let's um, let, 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 let's pull it back in real quick. Let, let, let me let me recap. So, one, decide. Decide for yourself. Decide that like you want to do this other thing. Like I said, be honest with yourself. Uh, decide what that is, and that could be an active decision, or it could be a like I said, it could be you see something and you think, oh my god, I have to do that, and. And if, and if that's the case, like I said, decide that you want to do that. And maybe you do want that to be the thing you make a living doing. You know, maybe that maybe that becomes your, your your craft, your pursuit, your art now. Cool. Once you've made those decisions, like I said, talk to yourself. Talk it talk it out for yourself. And not not like I said, and, and, and not don't convince yourself not to do it. If you have to, convince yourself to do it. Convince yourself why you should do it. Convince yourself that it's okay to do it. You know, give give yourself permission. You know, this is something you know. When I was working at, uh, I was working in a research lab a couple of years ago, and we were, we we were working with all this kind of next gen tech, you know, emergent technology, and there were a lot of things we were trying to do that just hadn't been done for whatever reason. And most of a big part of that job was just having conversations, saying like, look, like look, we we are allowed to go out and do this. We're allowed to go explore these things. We're allowed to go. We're, we're, we're allowed to like, like, like just because somebody hasn't written the algorithm or something, somebody hasn't put together the, you know, the, the content doesn't mean, doesn't mean we, it can't be done. We're allowed to go do that. So that's another conversation you have to have. Yourself. And, and, and like I said, use other examples. I mean, I mean, you know, I, I, one of the things I'm going to talk about on probably on, um, on the icebreaker tomorrow is, is, you know, joining positive communities. You know, I mean, I've talked about finding your tribe and this is kind of step up to that, but, um, you know, it, it's okay to look at other people and say, oh, well, he's doing it, she's doing it. I, I guess it can be done, so that means I can do it too. Yeah, absolutely. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I, I know a lot of people say like, ah, well, you know, you shouldn't look at other people and and, and, and you shouldn't look at, at other people and envious, but you should absolutely look at other people and say, oh, okay, there's an example. It's like, there's another example. You don't, you know, again, again that's one of those weird things that I hear from entrepreneurs and startup owners like, no, no, you have to, you absolutely have to find your completely unique niche and, and you have to, just, it's like, well, yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree with that to an extent, but I, I think so many people get hung up on that because they're like, oh, it's not different enough. No, that's fine. You don't have to be super, super different. Like I said, you know, you can be, you know, like, for example, like my my thing with streaming, like I'm not doing anything that, that nobody else is doing. I mean, I'm playing video games on Twitch, but the only thing I've done is I've added I've added a mixtape in the background that I made, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit. You know, for example, this week uh, it's a it's a it's a Russian Russian side trance label like is is going to be my label feature. So, and for me, it's one of those like, yeah, okay, it's not different enough, but that I may or it may not be different enough. Somebody can look and say, well, other people are doing that. Great, that's the thing that grabs me. So that's cool because 
because then the challenge for me is within that space, you know, how do I, how, how do I differentiate? And I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm completely going off track here. This is, this is something we'll talk about next time, but, um, but yeah, I mean, be honest with you all. That, that, that's the start. That's, I guess that's the crux of conversation. Number one is be honest with yourself. Um, you know, be honest with yourself that you want to do something else. Be honest with yourself about what it is that you want to do. Be honest with yourself that it's okay to do that. And yeah, once you've done that, we'll talk ne next. We'll talk about you know next week. We'll talk about um, kind of so some actionable stuff. I, I don't know what that is. I said a bunch of things that I think would make good topics. So if you're listening to this and there's a specific thing that you want to hear about next. Um, you know, let me know whether it's finding your niche you know, that I just talked about, you know, kind of differentiating. So whether it's how to make the transition, whether it's specifics on educational pursuit, um, you know, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of pick, I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, maybe I'll flip a coin. Maybe I'll actually map this out and say like, and, and see what it is that I, I think like, maybe, maybe I'll put a pull up, you know, let's, in fact, let's do that. I'm going to put a pull up and, um, and see what you guys like would like to hear about what, what you guys think the next step for this is at least for for you in particular and, and if and if there's enough interest for a bunch of things from a bunch of different people we'll do that i'll just throw a bunch of different things out and we'll talk about that um all right so i'm gonna cut this off a little early it's i mean really i could stay on for another four minutes but i think it's just me here so i didn't i didn't announce this one because yeah I, I don't know I was, I was, like i said i was a little nervous about doing this i'm gonna put this up anyway um and uh but i've got uh got to get back to work i've got a gc talk to finish i've got uh Got Viking Ninja promo promo material to do, you know, like I, you know me, I never sleep. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, give this a watch. Let me know what you think about it. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and guys, it's been cool. Cheers.